Welcome back to cdacomputer.tips. My name is Christopher Duncan and in today's tip I'm going to show you how to write a simple macro that will ask a user for their name and then will output the results in cell A1. If you haven't already please feel free to check out my other post on how to create a simple macro. There's some information there that I'm assuming in today's tip that you already know. So let's get started here. We've got the developer tab open. So I'm going to click on developer. And then on the left hand side, I'm going to click on visual basic. Here in my visual basic window, you can see I've already input the basics of my macro. And I've got the remarks lined out here for the three steps of creating the input box and then outputting it. Step one, I'm going to declare the variable. Step two, I'm going to fill it. And then in step three, I'm going to output the results. So here in step one, I am going to declare the variable. The syntax is very important. I'm going to type dim username as string. If you're not certain what kind of variable to use, a string is always a good choice. A string is any collection of letters and numbers. Under step two, I'm going to ask the user what their name is, and I'm going to assign that value to my variable username. So I'll type username equals input box, open parentheses, open quote, please tell me your name. And you'll notice that I don't have any spaces inside the function name input box. I also don't have any spaces inside my variable name. And finally, here in step three, I'm going to output the results. So I'll type range, open parentheses, open quotes, A1, close quotes, close parentheses, dot, value, equals, and then I'll put the name of my variable, username. So now that I've finished writing my macro, I'm just going to close the Visual Basic Explorer window, and I'm back here in my Microsoft Excel window, and I'm just going to run the macro. So I'll go to the Macros button, and I can see the name of my macro input box example here. So I'll just click on run. And now I can see I've got my input box. Please tell me your name. I'll type my name in there. And click on the OK button. And there it is in cell A1. I hope this gets you excited about writing macros. I'll look forward to seeing you in another tip.